Ever wonder why you strike out every time you try to be her friend? You're not alone. Many people have been in your shoes trying to navigate the tricky waters of friendship and romance. It's a common scenario where your intentions are pure, but the outcome is far from what you hoped for. Many guys fall into the friend zone trap, thinking that being extra nice is the way to a girl's heart. They believe that by being overly accommodating and always available, they can win her affection. But this approach often backfires. But here's the thing, being too friendly can actually push her away. When you go out of your way to be excessively nice, it can come across as disingenuous or even desperate. This can make her feel uncomfortable or pressured, leading her to distance herself from you. It sends the wrong signal. Instead of seeing you as a confident and interesting person, she might start to see you as someone who lacks self-assurance. This can be a major turnoff, as confidence is often a key trait that people find attractive. Instead of seeing you as a potential romantic interest, she starts to see you as just a friend. This is because your actions are more aligned with those of a supportive buddy rather than a romantic partner. The more you act like a friend, the more she will categorize you as one. And that's a tough place to escape from. Once you're in the friend zone, it can feel like you're stuck in a maze with no way out. The more you try to prove your worth through niceness, the deeper you sink into that role. Think about it. When you're crushing on someone, you don't want to be stuck in the friend zone. You want to be seen as a potential partner, someone who can offer more than just friendship. When you're crushing on someone, you don't want to be stuck in the friend zone. You want them to see you as someone they can share a deeper connection with, someone who can be a significant part of their life. You want them to know you like them, right? You want to express your feelings in a way that makes them see you in a new light. But how do you do that without coming off as too aggressive or too passive? Hiding your feelings and pretending to be just a friend won't get you there. It's important to be honest about your intentions. If you keep your feelings bottled up, you'll only end up feeling more frustrated and disappointed. The truth is, women are attracted to confidence, not niceness overload. Confidence shows that you value yourself and that you believe you have something to offer. It's about being comfortable in your own skin and not being afraid to show your true self. They want a guy who's comfortable in his own skin, not someone who's constantly trying to please them. When you're always trying to please, it can come off as if you're seeking validation, which can be unattractive. So how do you break free from the friend zone and show her you're interested? It starts with being genuine and confident. Show her who you really are and don't be afraid to express your feelings. Be direct, but also respectful of her boundaries. Keep reading to find out. We'll dive deeper into strategies that can help you transition from being just a friend to a potential romantic partner. It's all about finding the right balance and being true to yourself. Let me tell you about my friend, Mark. Mark was the kind of guy who always had a smile on his face and a kind word for everyone. He was the person you could count on no matter what, but sometimes being too nice can lead to unexpected consequences. Mark had a huge crush on Sarah. She was beautiful, smart, and had a laugh that could light up a room. From the moment he met her, he was smitten, but Mark was shy and didn't know how to express his feelings directly. He thought if he was the nicest, most helpful guy she knew, she'd eventually fall for him. He believed that actions spoke louder than words and he was determined to show her how much he cared. So what did Mark do? He made a plan. He decided to be there for Sarah in every way possible. He thought that by being indispensable, she would see him as more than just a friend. He became her go-to guy for everything. Need help moving heavy boxes? Mark was there. Car trouble? Mark was on it. He was always ready to lend a hand, no matter how big or small the task. He listened to her relationship problems, helped her move apartments, and was always a shoulder to cry on. He was the perfect friend, always putting her needs before his own. He even drove her to the airport at 3 a.m. when she had an early flight. No matter how inconvenient, Mark was there, hoping that one day she would see him as more than just a friend. Did Sarah appreciate Mark's kindness? Sure. She often told him how grateful she was for his help and how much she valued their friendship. She saw him as a rock, someone she could always rely on. Did she fall head over heels for him? Nope. Despite all his efforts, Sarah never saw Mark as anything more than a friend. She appreciated his kindness, but didn't feel any romantic attraction towards him. She saw him as a great friend, a true pal, but not as someone she wanted to date. They shared laughs, deep conversations, and countless memories, but for Sarah, it was always platonic. Why? 
because Mark never actually showed her he was interested in being more than friends. He never took the risk to express his true feelings, fearing it might ruin their friendship. Mark's story is a classic example of what happens when you try to win a girl over by being too nice. It's a common mistake many people make, thinking that being overly accommodating will lead to romance. It's like trying to win a race by running in the wrong direction. No matter how fast or how hard you run, you're not going to reach the finish line if you're on the wrong path. You might be putting in a lot of effort, but you're not going to get the result you want. Mark learned this the hard way. He realized that sometimes you have to take a risk and be honest about your feelings, even if it means facing rejection. In the end, Mark decided to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Sarah. He told her how he felt, and although she didn't feel the same way, she appreciated his honesty. They remained friends, but Mark learned an important lesson about being true to himself. So if you find yourself in a similar situation, remember Mark's story. Don't be afraid to express your feelings. It's better to be honest and face the possibility of rejection than to live in the shadow of unspoken words. True friendship can withstand honesty, and who knows, you might just find the love you're looking for. Here's the cold, hard truth. Being too friendly is the quickest way to the friend zone. It's like wearing a giant sign that says, I'm not a threat. Please don't see me as a potential boyfriend. Attraction thrives on tension, on a little bit of mystery. When you're overly friendly and agreeable all the time, you kill that tension. Think about what makes someone attractive. It's not just about being nice. It's about confidence, humor, a sense of adventure, and a little bit of playful teasing. It's about showing your true personality, even the parts that might not be conventionally nice. When you're trying to win a girl over, being her friend shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be to show her you're interested in her romantically. That means flirting, taking her on dates, and making your intentions clear. The courage to be real, conquering fear and showing your true self. I know it can be scary to put yourself out there. Rejection hurts, but you know what hurts more? Living with the regret of never trying. The fear of rejection often stems from a fear of not being good enough. But here's the secret, you are enough. You are interesting, you are worthy of love, and you deserve to be with someone who sees that. The most attractive thing you can do is be authentically you. Don't try to be someone you're not just to impress her. Women can spot fakeness a mile away. Be confident in who you are, flaws and all. Remember, you don't need to change who you are to attract someone. You just need to be brave enough to let your true self shine through. And when you do, the right person will appreciate you for exactly who you are. Beyond being friendly signals that ignite attraction instead of friendship. So how do you show her you're interested without being too friendly? It's a delicate balance, but it's all about sending the right signals that go beyond mere friendship. It's all about sending the right signals. These signals should be subtle yet clear, indicating that your interest in her is more than just platonic. Instead of constantly offering to help with errands or always being available to listen to her problems. Focus on creating fun, flirty interactions. This means engaging in activities that allow you both to let loose and enjoy each other's company in a light-hearted manner. Instead of texting her throughout the day like you're her best girlfriend, send a playful text like, what's the most daring thing you've done today? This kind of message sparks curiosity and invites her to share something exciting about her day. Mine involves a chocolate chip cookie and a mischievous craving. Adding a personal touch to your messages makes them more engaging and memorable. Instead of asking her if she needs help with anything, invite her to do something fun, like checking out that new arcade downtown or trying that escape room everyone's talking about. These activities create shared experiences and build a connection based on mutual enjoyment. Remember, actions speak louder than words. Small gestures like planning a surprise date or remembering her favorite treat can go a long way in showing your interest. Show her you're interested by initiating dates, flirting, and making an effort to spend time with her one-on-one. -on -one. This demonstrates that you value her company and are willing to invest time in getting to know her better. Don't be afraid to make the first move. It shows confidence and initiative, qualities that are incredibly attractive. Confidence is key in any romantic pursuit and taking the lead can set the tone for a potential relationship. It's also important to be genuine and authentic in your interactions. Authenticity builds trust and makes your intentions clear. When you are true to yourself, it becomes easier for her to see the real you and appreciate your unique qualities. Humor is another powerful tool in igniting attraction. 
Sharing a laugh can create a bond and make your time together more enjoyable. Don't be afraid to be a little silly or playful. It shows that you are comfortable around her and can make her feel at ease. Shared adventures and new experiences can also strengthen your connection. Whether it's a hike, a road trip, or trying out a new hobby together, these activities can create lasting memories and deepen your bond. Communication is crucial. Be open about your feelings and intentions, but also be a good listener. Show genuine interest in her thoughts and feelings. This not only shows that you care, but also helps you understand her better. Sometimes the most meaningful moments are the quiet ones. Enjoying each other's company in a relaxed setting can be just as powerful as grand gestures. These moments of intimacy can help build a strong emotional connection. Finally, don't underestimate the power of romance. Small romantic gestures like surprising her with flowers or planning a special dinner can make her feel cherished and appreciated. Romance adds a magical touch to your interactions and can turn ordinary moments into something special. By combining these signals, playfulness, confidence, authenticity, humor, shared experiences, communication, and romance, you can ignite attraction and move beyond the friend zone. It's about creating a dynamic where she sees you as a potential partner, not just a friend. So take the initiative, be yourself, and enjoy the journey of getting to know her. With the right signals, you can create a connection that goes beyond friendship and opens the door to a deeper, more meaningful relationship.